Hello everyone, it is Jacob here and in this video I'd like to present you a farming strategy that, that me, Darmer and Dritek are using since the beginning of the season. Like as you have no you might have noticed some of the hero memories and hero relics are really pricey. So that's what we are trying to like step into with our strategy. This strategy does not require you to have any specific fact spirits or a special build or something. You can do it with anything that can farm time mark 7 maps and with any pack spirit. So I'm just farming with XP gain because I want to level up. I have not been playing much this season, but yeah, Darmer is number one in damage. He farmed for this for his gear with this strategy. So yeah, I will not provide you any numbers, but I will show you what we are using and you can test it yourself. So what are we using? The strategy revolves around uh, black cell, so full black cell circle, just to have the anchor in every map and then to get Whisper of Wonders as often as possible. And yeah, that's it. So full anchor. <coughs> And uh, this here is, I believe, a chance to start it twice. Yeah, somewhere in the black cell tree is a chance that you can start the beacon, uh, the anchor twice at the end of the map. So full anchor, then we pair that with uh, this. Just to have a little chance to at least drop legendaries that you can sell after you drop them. So chance to drop priceless legendaries. So that's six, 12 points here in the uh, legendary tree. Then once you get fast enough and you don't need war anymore to clear the map fast. Early on we were using uh, guaranteed war just to have the, uh, get the movement speed from it and to clear the mobs faster and you can even pair it with these four points to get a few more monsters, blue ones, on the map. But once you are fast enough you can get rid of war and slot in for, for example uh, search, dark search, because dark search pairs really well with black cell. So guaranteed dark search and then we are going for bosses, even this one, does not matter which uh, uh, way you choose, like this one is for uh, nexuses, this one is for edict of dooms, both are great, does not matter which one you choose. So yeah, I, I might probably just choose the bosses so I might get this point and then I might go for this one once I get the remaining three points that I'm missing just to have higher chance for bosses and why dark search pairs well with black cell is because you can start dark search at the end of the map and then start black cell as well and clear them both together so you waste uh, as uh, little time as possible <coughs> and early on we were using uh, this tree to farm energy cores and flame sense <clears throat> but today I'm switching it to maps to be able to farm time mark 8 beacons so chance to replicate maps or chance to replicate beacons and then there's a chance to the beacons to be upgraded and here is a chance to drop additional beacons from monsters so yeah with this I'm dropping like maybe one in average, one time mark, eight map per map. Sometimes you drop six, sometimes you drop nothing. Yeah, so at least some time mark, eight beacons being farmed here. Depending on the price of the beacons, uh, right now they are going around six to eight FEs. Earlier they were going around three, so we were farming this instead. Now I think the time mark, eight beacons value gone up reasonably and it is worth farming them now so yeah that's this and in the uh, red points tree i'm just taking this 
to get more progression towards the watcher so you can then sell the watcher marks on the trade as well for around two FEs each uh, sometimes you will drop uh, this uh, invitation from black sale it's going for around 110 you can even sell it for 140 if you are willing to wait and from dark search you will be dropping edicts so those are selling really well as well so combining dark search with black cell saving a lot of time so these are the mechanic drops and for the relics and memories that you you can drop um, you will be dropping a lot, a lot of prototypes most of them will be worthless but some of them with the lower additional damage rolls can be sold this one sold for 9 but there, there are plenty that sold for like over 20 and today I've dropped this even so that's 5k right there once it sells and I can show you some of our drops from our screenshots in my discord server so these are drops from yesterday and a few days ago as well so Dritek dropped this uh, hero memory for Rosa sold it for 3.4k and another drop for Rosa 4.5 here is 4.2 from uh, two days ago for the memory that I dropped today is going for 5 today I'm selling it because I don't really need it but if it does not sell I can use it myself later on then I've dropped this for 900 and sold it um, what else is here this is like five days ago so the price has gone up, gone up a little since then so some memories for uh, Yuga 2 sold here as well here is another one and another one like there is shortage of memories and relics so you definitely can use this strategy to make some profits just run the maps as fast as possible and what you do in the map you open the map and what I tend to do I tend to do at least one time mark 8 map uh, in the rotation just to activate time mark 8 uh, black sail and once I'm done with that I'm just continuing the rest of the black sail runs in time mark 7 and at the end of the map every time you get a wonder there you want to select wonder and in the wonder you want to select the choice that gives you chance to drop one addition uh, legendary hero memory and that's pretty much it every like uh, how many maps six or seven maps you go do the anchor you, do, you go do the black cell boss and most of the times you will drop at least something that you can sell for a few FEs and occasionally you will get a jackpot that will let you build your entire character <laughs> obviously so that's a wonder picking that and at the end I'm hoping to see a chance to get a legendary hero memory that would be this one so once you see this mod one additional legendary hero memory you, every time you pick that if it is not there you you pick drop rarity and if either of those is not there you can switch the pages up here and there's always tre uh, treasure base drop quantity on this page so you pick this if there is no hero memory or drop rarity and that's the entire strategy guys uh, yeah no special pack spirits no special build just clear time out 7 maps as fast as possible and you are good to go thanks everyone for watching i hope i'll see you in the next video bye